Welcome back, guys, and if you're new to Food Made Simple, please click that subscribe button. So I grew up eating Korean instant ramen before most outside the Korean community in the U.S. were even aware of them. Today, they've grown in popularity and can even be found at Walmart along with your local Asian supermarket. If you want a quick meal with a flavor kick that you just can't stop eating, then stay tuned for my Korean ramen hack that just takes 6 minutes to prepare. So I have two beautiful green onions here and we're going to cut the ends with the roots off. Then I'm going to just cut these green onions to make about a half a cup and we'll use these for garnishing at the end of the recipe. Now I'm going to cut open the package and we'll take a look at the contents. You'll see the ramen noodles. And also in the package comes uh, two packets. One is a uh, vegetable packet and the other is the seasonings. Now if we follow the directions on the package, we'll add two and one thirds cup of water. I'm going to add a third cup of dried shiitake mushrooms right away. This will allow the mushrooms to rehydrate in the water as we bring it to a low simmer. Once at a low simmer, we're going to add our dried vegetable packet, which contains some carrots, dried onions, and uh, seaweed. Then we'll add our spice packet and give a little stir and let simmer uh, about 45 seconds before we add our ramen. Once the ramen is in, we'll let that simmer three to four minutes. Now, I personally like the flavor of shrimp, so I'm adding six to seven pieces. You can add chicken or pork or whatever protein you like or none at all. Now, crack one egg. Many people like to poach the egg. I like to scramble it in the broth. We will let that simmer about one more minute to 90 seconds. And we're done. We're gonna pour that into a bowl. Then garnish the noodles with these beautiful green onions. I've cut some fresh raw zucchini and julienne carrots and love the balance of flavor that these vegetables bring to the warm spicy noodles and broth. When eating Korean ramen noodles, one thing you cannot forget is kimchi. Pickled spicy cabbage served cold is just phenomenal and a perfect balance of flavor with the noodles as you eat them. As always, I will include the ingredients down in the description below. I hope you enjoy this version of my Korean ramen noodle hack. Thank you to our current subscribers as I couldn't do this without you. And if it's your first time, please don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe, tell a friend. See you soon.